Welcome back to the School of Car Science with Tim and Jacko to celebrate another month's worth of graduates and we have had a lot of them. Mate, before we start doing graduates, oh. I've got to tell you something. I don't know if it's the right time, but I'm massively overwhelmed. There's too much good stuff going on. I can't keep up. I'm, I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed. There is a lot going on and I feel you. I know I've, I've been feeling the same thing and been working behind the scenes on a, on a little solution for you. And actually, two solutions for you and I think you're gonna love them. Yeah. Lads! Who's that? Uh, that's Tim 2.0. Is, uh, is he better than me? Uh, well, let's just say we've been trying to tweak things a little bit. Notice that you boys have been getting a bit of slack. Me and 2.0 over there are here to give you a kick up the arse. Cracky, he's keen, isn't he? Uh, yeah, he is. I mean, he's maybe gone a little bit too far, although I do love his trainers. What's, uh, what's yours like? Um, I'm a little bit worried, actually, about him. I'm here to party. Show me some graduates. Woo! OK, well, roll, roll the, the tape. tape. <laughs> Mikey, you better look like you've uh, got your work cut out, haven't I've got, you? I've got a question, actually. If that's Tim and 2.0, what does that make me? But yeah, uh, but my question is, are they... Are they here? Yeah, I'm worried about this. And which one are you? Are you you? I don't know. Let's get this done before let's, you. Let's get, get into. Let's get. They said Jacko said roll. Jacko two point said roll the tape, didn't he? So let's get us up on screen, here Jacko. We are, here we are. Here we are. Right. So we have a whole host of um, uh, this month a variety. Mm. Let's say of um, various movements and graduations full graduations little steps graduations we've got lower body we've got it all we're kicking off with a smorgasbord <laughs> what? i love that nerd what's smorgasbord it's, i think it's a scandinavian word for select a platter ah smorgasbord. a sharing platter yeah cheese meats you know um so we have got Australian. now um this isn't the school of cast and it's rig i don't think i've i've this, i've not got one of those <laughs> Fortunately, it looks like it's just tied together with string here. <laughs> anyway, I love this. But yeah. Jack, when, when I this saw this is, one, like, I love it when people just put a scaffold in rigging the back. This is proper back. This is, yeah, this is serious. All right, stuff. let's get going. John, John Roots. Show us what you got, John Roots. Bar muscle up. And his scaffolding. That's hard with a fat bar as well. And jeans. Ooh. But I thought he was going to skin the cat at one point. Yeah, I wonder if he's going to bar pull over. Uh, pause. So... Okay. One, what he, he what, what I loved also about was the message he sent through. He was like super pumped. First time he's got over the bar and he went, I know I need to like, and I guess it, he said something, something along the lines of, I know I need to um, work on my form or how smooth it is, but he, he gets the point of shoulders symmetrical. He's got over the bar for the first time. That's something to celebrate. Whether he hitches his knees up, whether he drives with his hip or not, whether he wants to, you know, whether he wants to, um, change and make it sort of smoother or cleaner i almost don't even like that word but um that's just a personal thing but um whether he wants to or not that's then becomes strict down to I him. Think strict, is strict, right. strict is a good word yeah, to use yeah yeah um, he's I've, using a little hip drive towards the bar. his hips go towards the bar through actual driving of uh, yeah from from the we, we've talked a lot about this with muscle ups and go move the way you want to move so mm. it's not a crossfit muscle up is not wrong but as long as you know what the purpose of a CrossFit muscle is versus a strict muscle. So you can choose how you want to move. That is entirely your choice. The only thing that I would say on, on this, I think I mentioned it last month as well, is learn the way preferably that you want to practice mm. because it is hard to change an existing movement pattern. I think Jack and I both learned with a bit of a knee tuck to start off with. Yeah. And then trying to muscle up without a knee tuck when you've ingrained it is pretty difficult. Yeah. And let's give John a little bit on this. He's like, Ooh. Going from a, a bar like that, yeah, thick and doing bar. like a thick bar like that, and then doing it on a, on a normal sort of size pull up bar is way more difficult than what he's doing. So, top job. Next one, yeah, Felix, yeah, handstand for We've got days. A push up coming for handstand hold. This is his Just first, yeah. Look we talk that. about being when you're, when you're proud of the, the movement you can do, breathing well, yeah, good control, windy as well. That makes a difference, exactly. And just the amount, oh, the amount of time, the amount of time he's holding that for, and you know, pretty good. Like you can't, like, you mean line-wise, 
So I'll be happy with that. Yeah, it's good. I think, I, yeah, well done. Good work, Felix. Right, next up, got a little sneak preview, Jack, then. Owen, he's back. Yeah. Now, he's come back from his holiday after doing a human flag with his kids. And thought, Came to the social on Saturday. Yeah. School casting it's live and I thought, hang on a minute. Uh, what is this? I don't know. I don't know what's coming. And now I do. Superman push ups. Yeah. Boom. Strong guy. I mean, look at yeah. that little bit of the pop. He nearly he goes off the flipping screen. I love those for a little bit of uh, actually can be yes, take, you can take a great photo if we pause one for him um, <laughs> as he's in midair. There you go. There, off there, the screen. There we go. There's there's your there's your pause. There's your um, picture. For for a cool picture and something a little bit exciting, but actually a great work as a as an explosive plyometric exercise for if you're gonna get, like prep yourself or prime yourself for um you know a, a heavy or hard pushing session yeah. uh, later in the it's up job Owen. It? Good work, mate. Very smooth. Casey 2K. Look at she this girl, Casey, an absolute legend, will just flag <laughs> anywhere. Anywhere, everywhere. Follow her on Instagram. At a festival. Maybe at a drink. Yeah. Flag. Good work. I mean, it shows you the difference there of well, it comes to, remember she came to one of the first workshops Lawson, we did in, yeah, in, yeah. in London, one of the first London ones we did. So been been following uh, her progress for quite some time. And a nice little example there to show the amount of time, the, the difference between a single leg position like mm. a flag and the full, um, it, she, it looked like she could almost hold all day with that single leg. But then... Look at that bit of rotation as well. We've got some artistic flair. Nice work, A little bit of a hand position wise. Ah, yes. Heiner. Look at Heiner. From a little bit from a... Came to Marbella last year. So smooth, as you can see, you can tell from the location. He's a climber, yeah. But yeah. any, any, and they came to the Marbella workshop, the first one that we did out in Marbella at Mike's gym. Um, the space there's only six spaces we sold on the weekend, actually. So someone in New Zealand, I think, amazing, or something like that. Worth um, the trip. There's, I think, there's only six spaces left by the time this goes out. There might even be less, but if you do want to get on board, make sure you check out that on the website. Three days in Marbella next year with us, super smooth on that one, though. Yeah. Loved it, real nice. He's got the and control. He, and that was impossible for him. It just yeah, because yeah. he was good at climbing, he just literally, the false grip and some of the shoulder mobility stuff He's happy with needed that one. to be changed for him. So Dan, yeah, a.k.a. Beans. Beans, Coach Dan, <laughs> 1390, working on his pull-ups. and Getting strong. This was, uh, I think, a PR or PB on total number of pull-ups and the quality and symmetrical of them as well. We actually took him through some of the... He was at the, the social... Uh, as well this year make sure you look out for the social for 2020 it's going to be massive um, and he uh, was absolutely legend on the day helping out with timing for some of the challenges that we did but he also um, was helping him with uh, some bar, some of the bar mm. muscle progressions and um, I said to him afterwards he had he, his, his pull up was feeling good it looked strong and it was actually very easy to support him and spot him through a full bar muscle the celebration is also one to Your yeah the flex, <laughs> the flex. Lauren Again, came to a workshop in Birmingham. Yeah. So I remember the same with Halliwell. Yeah. The, AKA Spice Girl. <laughs> body weight. So she said she was really proud of clearing up that body weight squat, which Look for her. That. Yeah, yeah. We like, we, often people take these well. for granted in terms of body weight squat. But then, I, honestly, I've screened so many athletes over the years, hundreds. And the few people that actually can do a really nice, well controlled body weight squat. Like it, it really is something which we should strive for and should celebrate because it's a, it shows a continuation and maintenance of function in the lower limb, which is going to support you through whatever it is you want to do. So these are something like, you go out to squat, but well, there's a lot of people who will get nowhere near that quality of movement because mm -hmm. we're all jacked up and tight. We should definitely be prioritizing these fundamental movements. You see that smile? Martin, now, yes, this guy, Martin, came to a strength and play workshop in Rotherham years ago, being coached by Georgie as well amazing work been working on this one for a while and um getting that muscle up in the bank absolutely brilliant but apparently but didn't know he's gonna do one and then did two yeah so coach georgia would been she's been in our seminars been in our workshop and she's hopefully going to be uh working more closely with us and one of her clients um mine who she said they've been working on muscle ups and then weren't planning on actually doing any attempts of the full thing on this session but just Things felt good, so thought they'd have a go. And then literally, they loved the celebration. You know, when she's coached him to do something he thought was impossible, neither of them expected it that day. Obviously, they obviously did some degree to, to attempt it. <laughs> Look at George, she's <laughs> absolutely buzzing for him. And that's when... Nice, Martin. It's a beautiful thing, seeing somebody coach someone. Hope's all like, around. Yes. Get in. <laughs> Redefining impossible uh, and the high fives. Safe. Goodbye. Right, this is going to look good. It's got a human flag coming up. 
for Tunes days. on the background. Make sure that's set. Oh, Boom. yeah. Strong. Nice straight arm positions. Looking stable. Now, Checking out what's going on in the gym. Boy walking past. You'd think he would. That, that guy would have stopped to give you some. He's pleased. He's happy with that. He's happy he, with he wanted that. some high fives from that guy walking past. Congratulate yourself on that one. Nothing else to add. Top job. Stuart, virtual classroom member. Been working on these muscle ups. Oh, Boom. nice. Get He's yourself up. Working on bar uh, previously and then just all the strength work he'd done from the bar muscle up transferring into the ring once he'd uh, sorted out uh, his his false grip position. It's all about the false grip. As you build strength in that false grip, you have more yeah. confidence to hang in lower positions and you can clean that up a little bit. But it's looking real good. You get through the ring, it starts doing the movement pattern in that one, then it's just a matter of strength. Once you know what shapes you've got to make, it comes much, much easier. Now, I threw this one in there, Timber, because this came off the back of, and I believe you had a conversation with him on Instagram in the DMs, that Alex... Um, Having you would you did your little tight you were playing around with your tag Wendy you did your little uh, uh, yes. video analysis of, you, of yourself on it he'd been struggling with this watch that video of you just mm. saying what it was that you you were working how you were working on your tiger band and he thought he'd take it up a few notches oh, went went straight onto the parallel bars and watch this he flipping it's absolutely class but he was buzzing all he'd done he'd watched your the feedback you were giving yourself effectively was what he needed and the strength to get out of Good that work, bottom Alex. position. Real nice. There's a couple I've done forearm stands on parallel bars before. I don't do it a lot because the risk goes up a little bit. But what's nice about them is you can see how much control, because you can get mm. a little bit lower to the ground. Like you actually, the hard bit is, oh, Jack, I butchered it. The mm. hard bit is that you've got to really be accurate with the elbow position. You've got to hit the right you line. You've got to know, otherwise, you're going, off, you're going off. But what's nice is you can get nice, you know, head down quite low, get close to the bars and just shift that weight back. Real nice control in there. And then come forward. Again, it's a hard position to push out because you're deeper, yeah. but it's a stable in your transition because you're in a nice almost shoulder stand. But yeah. That, Again, it's giving the kahunas a, a, a little bit of a, a stroll out there on the, yeah, on the bars and always it's using the weights to keep them stable as well. So yeah, nice work, mate. That's firmly in my impossible box. Yeah, you can do that. We'll get you there. Let's go some rep two. Oh, crikey, showing off now. Beautiful. So again, yeah. we talk about strength and abundance. You've you got to have the strength to be able to get that, uh, get that press out. Zach, kick up. Legend. Watch, wait for this the celebration guy. as well. Takes to just Look at that. He's it. got a nice little push in that shoulder. Look at that shoulder elevation. And then now they nice. come on. And then he's just working on improving. Now they're off. Now, oh, I cut it short, didn't I? There was a nice celebration on that one. That's right, Jeff. Let's watch this in reverse quickly. Um, but nice line. Yeah, that's a matter of time. Good shoulder flexion. Exactly. Yeah, and so it's a matter, matter of time, time of just literally, the moment the corrections aren't small enough to stop them hitting the wall. They are... Uh, oh, easy. Faux bar muscle up. Always point those out because you have to. Because otherwise, people don't know. No, no. Yeah, people yeah. don't know. Otherwise, you get and false get, sense going. Yeah, like we did. Beautiful little smooth through there on the muscle ups. I can know. Just remember, you got, when you've got that little gap in between the bars, it does make it a little bit more like the rings. But if that's your gym and that's what you want to do, you just crack it's on. It's like a hybrid between a ring and a bar muscle Yeah, it's still a muscle false grip. Exactly. Still a muscle up. Now, this next one I love, that there, is a, there is the celebration of this one, Evan. He's been working on his handstand walks um, and didn't... Well, you'll see what happens at the end. Show me. Roll the tape. Look at that. We don't do a lot of handstand walking. Mm. It is good fun. But what Great we, for you little, if you're working on that elevation. What we do like to work on is... Oh, we do like those. Handstand push it. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. So he wasn't, wasn't expecting it. not expected. He actually got out. So again, talk about strength. He must have had the strength. And it was actually like controlling the balance that was actually doing yeah. it for us. And then you get, you get into the neurology of that, but start to think about something else. All of a sudden, the body surprised you. Rather than if you've been trying to do a handstand push, it would have been successful. We don't know. Just turn that out. There's a philosophical question, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Robbie B. Retro Robbie B. The legend. From the virtual classroom. Been working on his back lever. Oops, strong nice. set. Yeah. He looks like he means business. Yeah. Good ceiling tiles. Boom, it looked like the same time as an gym as well. Oh. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Good work, Robbie. Comes around. And then... Yes! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that is the one. That is the one. You can't help it. On that Tiger Man video, I, was just, I did it, and I was like, no, I wasn't thinking. You did the with the Ali, the Ali G. I can't do that. That's <laughs> my personal voice as well. Paul. Um, coach yeah, so Seth. he's been working with Seth. What a nice little rig in the back garden. Great there. little setup. I know. I can feel it's still going to be a muscle up. Yeah. 
Boom. Oh, works hard, yeah. Works yeah, hard yeah, for yeah. that, but clearly good shoulder range of motion to be able to go into a proper deep straight bar. Um, this is a nice little point to raise, actually. We talk about, you know, the higher you can pull in a muscle yeah. up, the less hard you have to work in the transition because it's easier. Yeah. So we asked him, like, because the speed of pull, so this one for Paul is a work on, it's just a pull, like, work on that explosive pull because he does a good job. You watch him, but from you coming up here, he's sort of running out of speed a little bit, just gets a little bit high, using the knees for a bit of support, but then, bang. Has to catch the bar quite low. Yeah. Um, so that then puts more stress on the shoulder and also makes you have to work hard to get out of the dip. But it's bang on a muscle up, good job. And you've obviously got options then is to start to work on pulling a little bit higher. And you can decide whether you want to keep that knee tuck in or not, or you want to keep the leg straight. It's all part of the process. And we learn the same way. You just choose how you want to move. But we celebrate those because it's a big moment when you get above the bar for the first time. So yeah. it's a top job. I mean, you imagine we could see him front on, that bar's at his sternum there. Yeah, we also yeah. talk about sternum. And then once it's there, bang. That's like, it doesn't go any shoulders. higher. Just, yeah. yeah, but then that in that position there, he's, he's he's working hard to get into that. But if he hasn't got the shoulder range of motion there, he would have to pull even higher. I wonder if he does like what I do and do a bit of watering in between sets. <laughs> yeah, he's got his hose pipe out. I do that. Crocs the took his Crocs off. He, you know, you don't want to leave the Crocs on. Heavy, yeah. Additional, additional you know, he's been coached by Seth. He likes a pair of Crocs yeah. as well. If you and uh, <laughs> he'll kill me for saying that because he he's not even listening to this. I coach, mean. coach Seth does have spaces available for those that want to. Uh, join him for some some one on one online coaching. He has some awesome results from his yeah. online coaching clients, so it's definitely something worth thinking about. We've got one more, just one impossible redefine. I think so. The tape says oh, eighteen seconds. Out. You got another one, Jack? Oh yeah, he's working. Did you get that? <laughs> you got to check with the camera. Ah uh, yes. Oh, uh, the this, social. To, yes. yes, this is. We talked, came to the we Hands World record last year. Yes, and that came um, came to the Tough Mudder. Uh, yes, came on the OCR. Is from Transylvania, yes. but currently resides near Denbydale, where my wife is from. <laughs> so we have a number of connections. <laughs> the Transylvania one. I don't even know where Transylvania is. Eastern Europe. I thought it was America. No. Where's Count Dracula from? Transylvania. Oh, is it? Yeah. Why do I think that was? Why do I think Dracula's from America? Probably because America's adopted Dracula. To I think I think of Pennsylvania. That's America, isn't it? Yeah. Is that right. Crikey. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, I need to work on my geography. Yeah. I got a B at GCC geography. I was, I was predicted an A. <laughs> yeah. Some Transylvania. <laughs> Pennsylvania. Yeah, that's right. They sound very similar. Yeah. Is it a country or is it a... It's a country, Transylvania. Is it? I yeah. need to look that one up on the map. Yeah, Eastern Anyway, Europe. let's... let's get... Probably got great Dracula tourism opportunities, actually. <laughs> so what would... What would do? <laughs> <laughs> we oh, said before to... this, we'd done by 20 minutes. <laughs> we would have been if I'd not... If yeah, but not... this was... But that was good stuff. People like that. Tavi, uh, Tim... <laughs> I'll, I want to just prep because I'm. You, I want to big it up in that your um, Tim spent probably five minutes not with long. him, not long, um, and he'd never done a ring muscle up before. You, you just worked on the things that we always talk about, like a nice false grip and comfortable with the rings. On, on can I actually pull thumb to chest? Can he do a deep ring dip? And then two minutes later, after going through those, put them together, and what do you got? Your first ring muscle up. Look at that, and a clap from the audience yeah. as well. Good crowd there, look at the people. Just oh, up great, props, yeah. great. It brings back, brings back good memories. That was actually a second because he'd done the first one and then no, I said, did. Jack, I get the camera. Quick, get him on. And then just bashed out another one. But he was absolutely chuffed with that one. I think he gave you a little bit of feedback after this, didn't he, about just uh, trusting the process, doing the work, yeah. following the guides and, uh, and just yeah, putting the work in. And it shows you, I, say, I always say, the ring was a really good one, to, a good example of it. Of If you have the strength in pulling and pushing, we can give you, or somebody, a coach can give you the technique to be able to do something you didn't think you were able to do. If you haven't got the strength and just like think that there's this magic bullet, that this little technique thing or this little tip that you haven't got, if you can't pull high enough on those rings, you can't do a deep ring dip, you're not going to be able to do a ring muscle. So he's come to the table clearly with enough pulling and, yeah. and dip strength to be able to do that. And so um, that's take that just as, let's take it more as an encouragement that if, work on your pull-ups, work on your dips, Make give make sure that the strength element is not a problem, and then the uh, the technique and the transition and those types of things for that can take care of itself with a little bit of help from a coach. So that's it. We better go and find out what two point oh doing. Oof. Yeah, See I wonder what in trouble, what's in there in chaos. possible boxes. Cracky. Have to ask him next Looks time. Like mine needs some manners. <laughs> <laughs> Yours needs to stop taking drugs. <laughs> I think, think Jacko two point oh needs to be needs to be more excited. I don't know why. He's maybe, to be honest, he sounded like he's from Pennsylvania, some dodgy American accent. 
<laughs> that's it from the graduates guys massive congratulations and thank you for sending them in to us if you are have you made it to this point 22 minutes in from the graduation video well done well done you've probably got the, the best of the banter towards the end but send us your graduation videos we love to celebrate them share everybody else it's not just about us making us feel good it's about making the whole community feel good because you guys are inspiring and motivating to everyone else as well so let's share some graduation love yeah any questions need any help anything like that you know where to find us best place is probably on instagram but also here on youtube um and uh we look forward to hearing from you helping you along your journey to redefine your own impossible tim until next week well we're, just, we're gonna go and get your atlas out so we can have a look where transylvania is oh, yeah. and, and when we've done that then class dismissed, dismissed. 